Hello everyone. In our today's video, we will talk about another AI tool, SciSpace. With it, you can. In today's video, we will focus on how we can do, how we can use it to find academic sources, how we can do literature review. To start using it, go to typeset.io or SciSpace.com. The links will be in the description. You can check them. This will be the main page of the type, uh, SciSpace or Typeset. You can create an account by clicking on this sign up button here. If you already have an account, click on login button. Since I already have an account, I click on login button. I logged in into my account. After logging in, we can do multiple th things with SciSpace. We can do literature review. We can extract data from our PDFs. We can use AI Copilot to interact with our documents, meaning we can ask questions for the whole document or specifically selected part of the document. We can also use paraphraser function of the SciSpace. But today we will focus on the literature review. You can right away type your question or request on this search bar or from the left sidebar you can select literature review. I do so. So you can see here SciSpace literature review tool. We can type our request, questions, keywords into the search bar. I type European Union migration laws. This is a very very broad request. You can be more specific. I just type this for testing. SciSpace provides up with multiple stuff here. First of all, it is insight from top five papers. You can start using it. You can see also the sources. So it's a very good starting point point. And here also you will see the table and columns. In the first column, you will see the names of the articles. For some articles, you will see this open access button and PDF button. If you click on, click on the PDF button, it will download it automatically. Another important feature are columns here. As you see, SciSpace gives us a column which is called insights. And this column gives us very brief insights about the papers SciSpace found for us. We can add more columns like here it says popular columns. As you see, I can add another one like TLDR. That's the abbreviation for too long, didn't read. Let us do that. It added another column. In this column, SciSpace gives us another brief information about the papers. We can add the column about the methods used. Let us see which methods used in, in those articles SciSpace found for us. As you see, for some articles, it's not available. And for some articles, it briefly explains which methods were used to write the, the respective articles. You can check you can check other columns for yourself. So briefly, I believe SciSpace is a very useful tool to find articles. And when you click on the article, let us do that. So here you can save article. As you see here, you can ask questions. So we will cover it in, our, in my another uh, YouTube video. And if you click full text button, you can also get the full text of the article. I also want to inform you about the plans of the site space. So when you signed up, you automatically have basic plan by which you can do limited literature review searches. You can ask limited messages on Copilot. But if you switch to, to the uh, premium plan, you can do unlimited messages, unlimited literature review searches, etc. Generally, I can say that they have student-friendly plans, but today I have a uh, discount codes for you, which you can find in the description as well. So with the first discount code, you can have 20% discount on a monthly plan. And the second one with the Vugar site, you can have a 40% discount on annual membership. So if you like this tool, you can use these discount tools and you can start using SciSpace. That's it for now. If you like this tool, if you have you ever used it, please let me know in the comment sections. And if you like this video, please hit, please hit like button. And for, for my future videos, please hit subscribe button and see you in my next videos. In this tutorial, I will explain how to use AI Copilot of SciSpace to better read and understand academic papers. I also do have discount codes for SciSpace. I will share them in the end of the of this video and you will also find them in the description. First of all, in order to use SciSpace, go to typeset.io or SciSpace.com. The links will be in the description. You can check that. So this will be the main page after going to the website. And in order to use this website, you can 
create an account, click on sign up button to do so. It's very easy. With a couple of steps, you can do that. If you already have an account, click on this login button here. Since I already have an account, I click on login button. I signed into my account. This will be the interface you will see. So here, as you see, what we can do with SciSpace, we can do a literature review. We can extract data from PDFs. We can read with AI Copilot, and we can also use paraphraser function of SciSpace. But today we will talk about with this AI Copilot, how we can read academic papers with help of it. But before using it, I want to say a couple of things about. So recently I read an article from Nature, which is saying that academic articles is getting difficult each year. That means for students or even for researchers, sometimes it can be challenging to understand the complexities of academic articles and books. So in this circumstances, we can use AI tools as our assistant to understand complex texts. So one of these AI tools could be the SciSpace. To use AI Copilot, click on this AI Copilot and then upload PDF document. So you can browse. I'm going to upload one of my own papers. As you see, I uploaded one of my papers. On left hand side of, of the screen, you will see the text, the full text of the document. And on the right hand, you will see the chat box, the chatbot of Copilot. Before um, diving into the details, I want to show you something which I think very useful. So here, when you click this right hand upper part of the screen here, you will see you can select the language. So here the, there is 75 different languages you can select. So what, what does this mean? So you can maybe English is not your first language or you know any other language better than English. Then you can select that language and ask questions in that language and SciSpaces Copilot will answer you in this preferred language. So that's the first thing first. And then we can start reading. Let us say I don't really want, I don't understand this text and I want to, I want SciSpace explained to me. Then select this text. So as, as you see, I selected text. And then when you select text, this menu pops up here. What you can do, you can basically summarize the text. You can ask SciSpace explain you, and then you can ask SciSpace to find related papers. This time I click on explain text button. SciSpace gives me very detailed explanation of the selected part of the paper. So I think this is a very useful feature. You can select any part of your academic paper that you cannot understand. The text may be a bit difficult then you can definitely use this feature. And then what you can do, as I said, you can get summaries, you can find papers, but here also you can see pre-drafted questions. You can also use these pre-drafted questions while using AI Copilot of the SciSpace. I think uh, that's basically how Copilot works. That's as simple as this. And as you can see here, there is also an extension, extension of SciSpace AI Copilot. You can add it to your Chrome browser and you can use AI Copilot basically on all science and also non-science websites, articles, etc. Ask questions. So now a couple of words about discount codes. When you join SciSpace, when you sign up, you basically join the free basic plan and it has limited Copilot messages, limited literature review searches. But if you want to do more, Copilot messages and searches, you can either join to monthly plan or annual plan. And why, when you join, you will have unlimited Copilot messages, unlimited literature review searches. And if you want to do so, then you should definitely check the description, the discount codes SciSpace gave me to share with you. With Wugar 20, you can have 20% discount on monthly plan. And Wugar Sci code, you, if you use that code, you will have 40% discount on annual plan. So do check them if you like this tool and if you want really to join the premium plan, then you can use them. So that's it for now. If you got thoughts, comments, or just want to share your own experience, please do so in the comments. If you like this video, please hit like button. And if you want to watch my future videos, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next videos. In today's video, I am going to cover the paraphraser function of the size space. In my previous tutorials, I already covered the literature review function 
and also I tested the AI co-pilot of the size space to read the academic articles but in today's video I am going to cover the paraphraser tool to use it you can click on this uh, button here paraphraser or from left hand side bar you can select this paraphraser so this will be the interface of the paraphraser tool what you can do with this tool you can just copy paste or directly type here and then paraphrase to test it I copy paste I already copy pasted a small portion of my already published article and I paste it here uh, then I click on paraphrase button it will be automatically paraphrased but before doing that I want to show you something the, you can select the output language if English is not your first language then you can select uh, the, the other tool the other language that you want to use here I keep it as English you can also adjust the length you can also select the variation and here you can select the tone of the paraphrasing so I selected academic and I click on this paraphrase button it goes on here we have the result the text looks good but here I want to mention one thing which is very important never copy paste the paraphrase text from this tool or any similar tool always try to add your own voice your own words always try to change it always try to adapt the tone of the text in accordance to the text essay assignment or whatever it is that you are working on so th only then you can take the advantage of this AI tool because otherwise it will be flagged as uh, a AI generated text for example if I click here it says check again to find AI generated text I click on this and it says you see only the, this it flags only this sentence you can and as you can see here it says the text is mostly human and when it flagged this sentence you have to change it as well but I would suggest changing it, uh, changing the whole text as much as possible and then you can start using it. So that's it for now. Lastly, a couple of words about the plans of the size space. When you create an account, you basically join the free plan. With basic plan, you can do limited co-pilot messages, limited literature review searches and limited paraphraser outputs you will have. But if you join, if you want to do more paraphrasing, you can join the premium plan. And in premium plan, you can see here, you can join monthly or annual plans. But I will have discount codes in the description for you. With Vugar 20, you can get 20% discount on monthly plan. Or with Vugar Sai, you can get 40% discount on annual premium plan. Please look for them in the description. And if you like this video, please click like button to support uh, my channel because YouTube's algorithm works in that way. If you like it, if you share it, uh, it the, the audience of this video will be broader. And also, if you like my videos and support my channel, please hit subscribe button. Thank you for your attention and I'll see you in my next videos.